What's going on today, everybody? We are headed to pick up our uh, brand new camper, new to us camper. It's used. It's a 2020 camper. I've got my absolute smoke show of a wife with me today. I'm talking smoke show. It's just her and I, no kids. We've got the four kids at home. Two hour and 40 minute ride to get to camper. Eight o'clock in the morning. Here's the smoke show. <laughs> About to order some Mickey D's. All right, guys, check in later. <laughs> hey, everybody, just uh, check in on the uh, trip here. We're about an hour and a half into the truck. Just crossed over into Lebanon, New Hampshire. Sunshine, beautiful. split one goes left one goes right and then you meet back in the middle but uh, it is beautiful out West Lebanon it was really really oh boy, that road is rough really foggy and the uh, Sun was pretty much as you can see out here it's absolutely beautiful just like my wife caught her my wife's a little camera shy. I like to get her on the camera a little bit, create some memories. Maybe the kids can look back and watch them, see how crazy their father was. But, uh, you know, we'll work her into it here. Uh, just so all you fellas know out there, she is taken, is married. I know she's a smoke show, absolutely gorgeous, but she is married, in fact, married. Um, I was lucky enough to steal her. So uh, keep your paws off, boys. Plus she has four kids. That's a whole lot of baggage. Uh, you just don't want to be part of that. What's that? That's for sure. That's for sure. Well, at least she's talking on camera here. But uh, as you can see, uh, there's a sign, Dartmouth College Medical Center in Lebanon and Hanover, New Hampshire. Sun shining, it's uh, 30 degrees. Hopefully you can see that there on the uh, navigation in the truck. Pretty excited to get this camper. I'm sure the uh, trip back's gonna be a little bit slower. Um, probably gonna try to stay around 65. I won't have any stabilizers on the trailer. Um, this 350 should handle it, no problem. And I assume I'm gonna use a lot more diesel on the way back. But that's just the way it goes. All right, guys. Um, we'll check back in a little while. Probably, uh, probably turn the camera back on when we get to uh, Country Camper to pick up our camper. Those are the folks that we purchased a camper from. Um, so yeah, we'll check in when we get there. Hey guys, another uh, check in here. We're chomping on some M&M's. We stopped at the store and uh, used the bathroom, got another drink. We are three tenths of a mile. Away from this place that's actually right up here on my left i thought it was on the right when we came last time here it is about to fall in country camper it's all washed up it looks like nice and clean it's that uh wildwood right there folks Looks like a busy parking lot today.
say six November sixth. How busy it is for campers. Showing everybody the steering wheel right I now. I can't see anything on that. You're not much of a camera woman. Right? I can't see. It's a black, black screen. Well, that does it. We'll, uh, we'll see about the camera. That's not ours, but there goes one by right there. Ta da! Alright, everybody. It's the moment we were waiting for. I wanted to do a video of us actually doing the walk around at the uh, place where we bought the camper from. Everything so happened so quickly. We went through it quick and uh, signed all our paperwork over. Um, they had the financing a little bit uh, incorrect, but they straightened it out. They did a good, good job. Um, I didn't buy any of the additional warranties or um, you know, everything they were trying to charge you, service contracts and gap insurance and blah, 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 blah. But, um, no, I didn't buy any of it, but uh, I wanted to show you guys, here it is. That's the truck. There's the camper. It's uh, pretty long, the whole deal. There's my beautiful wife. And uh, yeah, this thing's great, man. 36 feet long. It pulls really well. I'm only doing 65 down the highway with it. Um, got the grill on the back. It's got the outside sink. And that's it, guys. Pretty excited. Looks good. Tows really well. We got a new battery, full propane tanks. was nice enough to let me borrow the truck it's pretty sweet man I kind of parked like one of those a-holes <laughs> we went over to uh, 99 and had some lunch it's almost two o'clock here <clears throat> had some lunch with the wife while the kids have a babysitter um, yeah, that's it, guys. We got about an hour and a half left to get home, another hundred miles, and uh, this baby will be home. Hopefully, it fits underneath the tree at my house without hitting the air conditioning. Uh, guys, we'll check in at home. Peace. All right, people, we are in Williston. Jokingly said that I actually said it. Um, Telling the camera.
camper. Uh, we've probably got another 20 miles to go to home. Um, it's going really well. I did, uh, I don't know, maybe upwards of 70 with the trailer. Um, it was 70 and under for sure. Uh, without stabilizers on the uh, trailer, it definitely sways a little bit. I was more comfortable um, towing it under 70 miles an hour. Anything over that was okay, but if there's any kind of crosswind, it definitely got a little squirrely. Um, not my most favorite feel in a truck, but I was sending it. Why are you laughing at white? Listen, uh, why don't you tell everybody how you feel about this trailer and this experience today? I'm so excited. And um, how was it today? I'd be more excited if you had the camera on with me. Well, yeah, but you're so gorgeous. I don't know why you don't want to be on camera. Um, I want to know, I'm going to act like an interviewer now, how your day felt with a little bit of a break away from our four children. You and I got to spend a little one-on-one -on -one time, even though we were in a truck headed to get a camper. It was great bonding time. Bonding time? We've had 20 years to bond, maybe. No, with no kids. Well, with no kids, yeah, it was good. We had fun. Um, we pretty much, yeah, we were out and about with, for a purpose, obviously, but it was uh, it was fun spending time with the wife. It was, it was quiet in the truck. Um, she even cracked a few jokes, which is, she's unbelievable in many ways. At the camper place, and she's cracking jokes like I somehow stumbled across uh, a stand up comedian wife. It was uh, amazing. Um, but, anyways, we had some fun. She had a good time. We uh, are excited to get back and uh, show the kids, and I'm sure they're going to be pumped. And I'll see how well I can back this into our yard with the curbs we have outside. And a tree. And a tree to steer around. But uh, that'll be our next adventure. And if I can't park it there, I kind of got a plan B. My boss just doesn't know it yet. But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. All right, everybody. The uh, camper made it back home. And uh, it's the next day. I figured I'd do an inside tour. My wife's yelling at me not to get dirt in here. She thought maybe that'd be good uh, video content. And uh, here's the inside, the little kitchen area. Um, I don't have the slide outs out. Maybe I'll try to uh, pop them out. Here is where uh, we'll be sleeping. Mattress is a little small. I don't know if that's a queen or a full, what they call that, but. Camper still smells new in here. This is a 2020. Um, the floor is pretty cool. Um, you know, what's nice about the newer ones is the, you know, the interior design is a little bit nicer. Um, got plenty of cabinet spaces here. The other thing that's kind of cool with uh, in the bed here, you can see that there's like little shelves you can stick your hand through. Oh, we got a clock. I didn't even realize. It says 2 o'clock. A little bit behind. And kitchen sink. The couch uh, folds out into a bed. Got a little fireplace here. Um, above that is a little uh, radio sound bar. That plays good. Obviously, we got some air conditioning here. And uh, stove, excuse me, stove, microwave, uh, refrigerator, super nice. Hardwired carbon monoxide detector. Um, I may just try to get this slide out here. That way I can make it into the back. Let me see if there's still enough power. That's all I'm going to go for now because 
the camper is not level and I know slide outs work much better when they're level um, we're super excited about this uh, couch here because it's the u-shaped couch some of them have like the diner style seating um, you know where you got seats here and seats there and then nothing against the window um, the other thing that this ta this uh, dining room does or the table I should say folds down onto a bed like most do so we have a bed here with the couch a bed here with the table um, our bathroom we we're uh, I was kind of excited to see the bathroom is super small like all campers but we were excited to see that that one's a little bit of a tub um, we do have a youngster he's two so he does still take baths and then the uh, not so exciting toilet <laughs> um, that's it fan up top here skylight in the bathroom Tile on the wall is pretty cool. And then in here, I'm going to push this slide out a little bit here so I can open the door. Just enough to open the door. slowly we'll sneak inside of here and it's a little dark in here see if there's there is still enough battery uh, on the trailer one bed there the couch folds out into a bed we got another bed here and then this one here is a bed I believe it's got to be put up for the slide out to be up. And then the other thing uh, we like is the cabinets here, spot for a TV. And then on each side, inside of here, there's some more storage space with a mirror. Same thing on this side. I don't have the slide outs all the way, so you can't see them. Pick this bed back up. That was a little bit more difficult than I thought. And that's it. The uh, heat is ducted through the floor, which is kind of nice. And uh, after I spread some dryer sheets in here, I'll, maybe I'll show the outside kitchen. That's also another cool feature. All right, guys. See you in a few. Alright guys, so this uh, storage compartment here, it's all locked up or I'd open it. <laughs> uh, we got the heater, the vent, uh, outside speakers, I believe that's the water tank. Um, what's cool about this is the awning is electric, it'll come out by, you know, with a button and then it's got LED strip along on the inside, that's pretty cool. And then the uh, outside kitchen is here kind of whipping the GoPro around here here's the outside kitchen refrigerator storage and sink and then the uh, grill right here um, there's no cooking top or burner inside there but this grill is on an arm you pull the pins and it swings out and I believe it swings right over to here so you can cook in this area um, so that's really cool it's got a spare tire um, obviously some of this stuff's pretty obvious and that's it pretty much sums it up guys this is where it's gonna stay for the winter um, I don't plan on moving it anywhere <laughs> And uh, hopefully we can plan some trips for the uh, summer and have a good camping season. I still got to get myself a truck. But you have candy? Another speaker over here. But uh, for a used camper, it's pretty good.
power jack on the front. I think that's pretty standard now. And then this side. That's it. February 28, 2020, Forest River. Alright guys, thanks for checking out the video. That about sums it up.